All right, dungeon crawl. We're going to finish this up. We're on Zot 3, and we're going to start with Dragon Form, Invisibility, Go Down. Uh, okay. We're going to cancel our form and move around this way. There's a golden dragon up there. Okay, so this guy used a noisy ability and woke everybody up. So I'm going to use blade hands actually um, to help retain our oops to help retain our uh, oh never mind it doesn't okay well it's good to know okay gross this has suddenly gotten very bad um I think we can just run, run, run. Okay, good. We got away from him. Easy. Let's kill this guy. Yeah, gross. See, if they can see us, they can deal a bunch of damage. Um, which we don't want. Uh, I'm actually going to... Put down freezing cloak. Oh shit. I moved twice. I'm gonna use a curing just to gain a little bit extra HP. So, yeah, see, they're fodder most of the time, but because we're a cat and we don't have any AC sometimes, they can just fucking devastate us. So, we're gonna turn into a stone or a statue. Uh, turn invisible. Go down. And there's no enemies here. Quicksilver Dragon is the first thing we see. So I'm going to... How are we going to deal with this guy? Let's turn into a dragon. And let's just fight him. Mono Imano. Okay, there we go. So, this Moth of Wrath can berserk him, which makes him deal, like, way more damage. So, we're going to try to get rid of this before it does anything bad. Okay, so we killed it. Now we can kill it fairly easily. Turn back into a cat. Turn back into a dragon. Easy. Okay, we have 19 stealth. We don't really need any more. Oops, there's a golden dragon there. Uh, we're going to summon a malign gateway. We miscast it there, but no penalty. We'll move over here and fight him with our buddy. The yellow dra he, So he killed the golden dragon, and then he attacked the yellow draconian and banished it into the abyss. <laughs> which is one of, the, one of its things. That was the insta-kill thing that I said. That's, that's what, it, what it is. That's what banishment is, is it's insta-kill. Is It banishes them into a, like a place in the game that you can go to called the Abyss. And you can get banished, but like, um, for all intents and purposes on this character, because I'm immune to magic so I can't get banished at all, I'm like, I'm basically insta-killing them, you know? So like, same with banishment, it's like an insta-kill move. Which is pretty cool. So this is a ghost moth. They, um... If you go into the abyss, do you get to see all the monsters that you face? Yes, there? they will be there. And they'll be very angry. Nice. <laughs> so you can go tease them. Yeah, exactly. You can go, like, throw, throw things in their cage. Well, the abyss isn't necessarily a cage. It's actually, like, for most... If you're not following Lagonu, Lagonu, you can just, just depart the abyss automatically if you wanted. But otherwise, uh, it's normally very bad to be in the abyss when you have a bunch of banished monsters because they're really strong. A lot of the monsters you banish will like swarm you, and they're way stronger when you fill it up with all these nasty enemies. Because the only thing you banish is like the strongest stuff. 
So it's basically a greatest hits, except it's a floor. <laughs> You could, but you could go there if you need that extra like level. Yeah, although you would prefer to, you'd probably not want to go to the abyss unless you were going to get the rune there. They have a rune of Zot that you can get, but um, so I'm turning invisible because Ghost Moth, he can drain you for a bunch of mana and deal like a shit ton of damage, but he can't see invisibility, so he's not as concerned. Or I'm not as concerned with him. Um, uh, we have a draconian monk, which means probably a mob, like a like a group of them. So we're gonna try to sneak up on them, kill them here. Uh, we'll use freezing cloud. Uh, okay. We're just gonna step into the cloud. We have sufficient resistance to make it not relevant. Well, these guys do not. Okay, so we're going to rest here, get rid of our contamination. There's a storm dragon, so we're going to turn into a stone because it has resistance to electricity. And I'm going to turn invisible, and we're going to kill this guy. Nice. Easy. Uh, all right, so we're going to rest, get rid of contamination. There's a gold dragon. Um, we can't summon a malign gateway here, so we're just going to go dragon form. And we're going to use one of... Eh, we probably don't need to use our... Can we banish him? No. Uh, he can't resist electricity. So, er, did he? Can? He can resist electricity. Uh, can he resist cold? Yes. Lame. Alright, I guess I'm just going to fight him tooth and nail. See? <laughs> Teeth and claws. Boom. He's down. Sometimes you get good rolls. Okay, so these guys can't see invisible, so we're just going to deal with them that way. Yeah. I forgot how good invisibility is when you're in Zot. Because a lot of these enemies are normally a lot stronger, but when you can just turn invisible, just every single fight that you win, every single fight that you do, it's just insane. Can only this character do that? <laughs> um, no, invisibility is a spell that you find. It's not the most common spell, but the thing that's nice is I have plus four aptitude in hexes, so it was really easy for me to get to get invisibility online. But most characters can will find a form of invisibility. Like there's also evocable invisibility where you use like evocations and stuff. So like you can generally get invisibility, it, but if you don't, it kind of sucks. Wow. Yeah. See, that guy was pretty strong, honestly. I just wasn't using invisible because I wasn't paying attention. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, so here's a quick silver dragon. We want to be full HP when we fight that. Uh, oops. He's right next to us. We can't banish him. Um, probably kill him. I wonder if we can malign gateway. No, we can't. Not right now. We're too cramped. Uh, let's see. He can see invisible. He isn't resistant to cold. He also isn't resistant to poison. So we're going to use mephetic cloud, actually. So, and then we're going to turn into a dragon. We're just going to fight him. Oh, so he died before he got confused. Alright, that's nice. Okay, invisible. Take him out. Uh, we'll just kill this guy. Those aren't very strong. Turn okay, invisible. Kill him, rest. So there's a golden dragon. Let's try to stab him. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, dragon. Blind gateway. 
fight the golden dragon. Oops, moving my mouse around. Rest. Let him break away. Tentacle monstrosity. We're going to turn into a dragon and just fight him. Uh, so that moth of wrath can berserk him. We don't want that. That's really bad. So we're gonna use wand of acid to get rid of him because it, it like pierces through and stuff. So we're gonna go dragon invisible and kill this guy. Okay, so that's Zot Four. Splatted him. Yeah, just splattered him all over. There's a there's a, a spell in this called Orb of Destruction, which just basically it basically paints the walls with your enemy's blood. Like it causes them to explode and their blood just spews everywhere. It's, like, it's, it's a really cool ability. Okay, so now we're gonna do Zot. We should have been using our magic mapping scrolls. Um, but now we're going to do Zot 5, which is the end of the game, basically. So, we're going to, you're going to see, I'm going to show you something in just a second. So I'm going to do statue form, uh, invisibility, go down, and we're going to try to kill this, sneak up on it. Nice, okay, so we killed it. Um, now we're going to use scroll of magic mapping, so it shows us everything on the map. So these things right here are re are filled with like nasty, disgusting monsters that we don't want to fight. And the worst part is that because it's most of the level, if we use a scroll of teleportation, then we could land in there and just end up dying. So this in this level, we're going to want to be extra careful, and we don't want to get in dangerous situations here. So... Uh, I'm going to turn back into a dragon, go back down. We're just going to fight this guy. Gross. We're getting drained really bad for some reason. We just rolled bad dice. So draining makes us not as good at our skills. So it's a lot more likely to miscast, which is really annoying. But um, we'll gain XP really fast here so there's a storm dragon we can just turn invisible here and just sneak up on him nice i'm just pouncing on him grabbing his neck yeah see just that one enemy and oh wow so we just got discord which is a level, which is a really good spell for us, but we can't. Even, we're at the end of the game, so we're not even going to be able to cast it by the time. Mm. Yeah, so I've been waiting the whole game to try to get that, but we've just been using Dragon Form instead, which is fun in its own way. Discord's cool. It basically makes all the enemies go berserk and attack each other. It's a cool spell. So you didn't choose to get Dragon Form. You just like found that spell. Yeah, it was just what I found. And I just decided, like, and among all these spells, which is the ones that I can learn, it was the, one of the ones that I decided to go for. Because it's really strong. So we're going to go Dragon Form. Wow, we just got really, really contaminated. Off of just a single miscast, which normally doesn't happen. And the thing that's really bad about that is that now we can't go invisible, and these super dangerous enemies can cast 3D35 Crystal Spears right into our nuts. So, no bueno. Yeah, so we're gonna actually banish this guy, um, because he's really strong, and we're just gonna run. We don't have any potions of cancellation, which is really bad. Because potions of cancel, if we get marked, all of these enemies are gonna come chasing after us, and we need to, and we need to like hightail it. So, um. I'm going to keep running. We're faster than these guys, so we can just run. So we didn't get mutated, fortunately. We were only barely in the yellow. So that's good. Uh, How do you get rid of drain? Uh, when you gain XP, it goes away. So there's mm -hmm. Orb Guardians. We're going we're gonna to put an exclusion there, so that way we don't go near it until we clear out the rest of the level. So we're going to... Wait, what, what's in there? 
uh, this is where, like, all the nasty stuff is. There's, like, Orb Guardians and stuff, which mm. can do pretty good damage. Orb Guardians are the least of our concerns. It's more the, the, fi the fi Orbs of Fire that are there, because um, usually it, it has, like, three to four in it. I had one game where I had, like, 13 of them, which is just fucking insane. Like, those things, those things are seriously the most dangerous enemies in the game. And I just had, like, I just casually had, like, 13 of them. But the funny thing is, in that game, I got so lucky, I basically wasn't even paying attention most of the game, and I just won. I got, like, the most, it was, like, the most lucky game I've ever had. What, what was lucky about it? I just got, like, end game equipment in the early dungeon. Like, the mm. first, the first first like one tenth of the game i got better items than i've had in like every other game combined <laughs> you know like for the it, so i basically just fucking stomped the whole thing because i got unworldly lucky like so lucky it doesn't even make sense it's bound to happen sometime yeah i know right <laughs> I got, like, the best weapon in the game and, like, some of the best armor in the game. And then I, I just fucking went to town. It was awesome. It was, it was like, it was like my ghoul. Right now you can see, uh, I'm just doing the command streak. It says four consecutive wins. A Tango Fighter, Human Earth Elementalist. It was this ghoul Delver here that I played recently. And then an Octopode Gladiator. Octopodes can't wear armor either, but they can wear eight rings. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna fight these guys. We're gonna not bother trying to uh, trying to stealth stab them. We're, they can see invisibility. We're gonna turn into a dragon. We're going to summon a lightning spire, and I think that they. Are probably not going to get confused from this mephatic cloud, so we're going to summon up this this freezing cloud. We're going to start killing these guys. Uh, oof! Got hit a couple times there. Gross. Okay, yeah, we're getting fucking mangled right now. Um. So we have plenty of these. Blink scrolls. So we're just going to use one of them. And these guys have good magic resistance, so we can't really uh, banish them. So I'm just going to run, I think. I'm gonna turn what kind of orbs are they guarding? Uh, the orb of Zot. That's, that's the thing that we're trying to get. I'm going to mm. turn into a cat and run away from them. They can catch up to us eventually, but not in this short of a distance. So we're going to do that, go back down a different staircase. Um, there's one of them. We can probably kill one of them on our own. Oh yeah, there's still another gateway over there. Uh, we can probably kill one of them on our own. Two of them, it's a little much. Uh, so I'm going to back up. And hope and you know, come over here. I'm gonna hope that I can use my malign gateway. Okay, there we go. So the malign gateway can't really reach us. So I'm gonna try to maybe get into. <sighs> no, you know what? I should run. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna run instead. Cause that's just not worth it. Like having to fight two of them at a time. Like I can set up a situation, especially when I can come down here and now my malign gateway is right there. So, this is better. Um, we're going to go this. Hit him. Nice. Okay. So, yeah, that, that malign gateway is super good. It's not nice when it turns on us, but fortunately, as long as we're paying attention, we're not going to die. So, we're going to turn into a dragon. Um, summon a malign... Or, I guess we can't. Summon a malign gateway fight this guy yeah those guys must have just gotten some really lucky rolls against us just now because like fighting them one-on-one -on -one has not been as dangerous 
Okay. So, it's like you got him, though. Yeah, so this is... We don't want anything to do with this side. Because that's a trap that's just set there permanently. And there's no traps on this side. Magic mapping always reveals traps. So we're going to go invisible as we approach this. Um, I guess there's no enemies here. So let's rest. There's a golden dragon. Um, we're going to rest over here. And I'm going to keep moving. So there's our dragon buddy. So here's what we can do. We can actually just get this golden dragon to step into this teleport trap. Uh, maybe not. Let's not do that. That's a little wacky. Because there's a, there's a guy over there. So I'm going to instead just drag him over here. I'm going to use my dragon form. He's going to see me. I'm going to drag him, drag him over here um, and just fight him one-on-one. -on -one. Nice. We killed him in one shot. Hmm. So there's an orb guardian. Let him come over here. So there's another badass. So we're going to just automatically, we want haste for sure. Uh, malign gateway, we can't open it here. Uh, back up, malign gateway. So now we can back into it if we choose to. Um, but I don't think that that's going to be good. We could use scroll of fog. Um, in fact, I think that's what we're going to do. So we need to scroll the fog so it can't hit us as we back up. And then it's going to, yep, come out of there. And we're going to have, wow, it just hasted it. So it gave it, it made it way faster. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, it malmutated us, so it made it, us clumsy, but that's okay. Um, we have a bunch of scrolls of summoning, so we're going to summon one to prevent it from malmutating us. So it just got banished, insta-killed. Nice. So that's good for us. These guys help you, or are they just... Yeah, they help me. They just didn't... They just weren't necessary. It was like, oh, sorry guys, false alarm. <laughs> Dragon. Fight him up. Oof. When we're not at full health. Yuck. Alright, let's summon a gateway. Let's... Hmm. So we could blink, which would put us on a random tile, which I think we might do, or we could just try to fight it. We could just fight the fight the orb here, which might be better. I'm gonna give myself might and just fight him off. Okay, good. <clears throat> You know, now that I think about it, I wonder if the fact that we have triple fire resistance is maybe helping us a lot. <laughs> He's definitely not dealing as much damage, but I think it's because we're being hasted and we're just dealing so much damage so quickly. So we don't have resist electricity. We can get it with stone form, but then we have to be slow. So I'm going to use a potion of resistance to give us resist electricity. Because these golems are actually pretty strong. Um, they're they're super fast, and they deal three d twenty, and they're also really hard to hit. Gross. Okay. Um, we're super buffed up right now, but I'm really not liking this. So I'm just going to run, because we're, we're hasted, so we're extra fast right now. So I'm going to run and just escape. Because we, do, we, don't need to, we don't need to fight this. We have so many resources to survive here. We have eight blinking scrolls, which puts you on any tile you want on the screen. So we're, we're probably going to win this. We also have two extra lives. But... I mean, nice, killed it in one hit. Four, four exclamation points. Here, I'm actually curious. Uh, here, I want to I 
look up and see how much exactly it is. So if it's 5, then it means it's between 144 and 287 damage. Just for reference, the, the most HP of any enemy in the game is uh, 780. And the most HP of any enemy in the game that's not in that's not like an optional boss is like a hundred and twenty. Hmm. <laughs> so it's it's pretty it's a lot. Um, so we can we can fight this. We're just gonna turn into a stone, turn into a statue, making us immune to electricity. And it also makes our evasion higher, which is nice because in dragon form it's a little bit lower. The only downside is that we're slow. You're stone cat. Yeah, I'm a stone cat. Someone gave me the catnip. Let's see. There's an ancient lich. These guys can deal, like, their iron shot deals 3d44. That can one hit kill us right now. And their crystal, uh -oh. their crystal spears deal even more. Um, it's blocked by this, but can deal three two d eight. So they also can see invisibility. We don't want to. We don't want to fight that in these conditions. So we're gonna summon a malign gateway. Wow. So we miscast it, and this guy appeared. So we're gonna turn into a dragon. Kill it. Just rest up. Okay. So he appeared. That's what we want. And we miscast it again. <laughs> so we'll rest. Turn invisible. Uh, hopefully that is an evil corn cob scarecrow again. Yeah, they're pretty strong actually. The only they're 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 weak when you have invisibility, but they're generally pretty tough. So there he is. So now I'm gonna back up a little bit. Someone miscast it again. <laughs> there we go. Okay, turn into a dragon. There's two of them. What? Uh -oh. oh, he cloned him. <laughs> no, he cloned him. <laughs> That's so unlucky. <laughs> I guess he did say that those those uh, Cthulhu tentacles could do anything in the game, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna oh, read scroll the holy word. Oh, uh, but it looks like looks like he's got he's got it under control, I guess. Oh, gross. So there's a an orb of fire. Um, we could back up, but I think we can. I think we can win this. So I'm gonna use condenser vein. Well, that fucking didn't work at all. All of these are immune to poison. Um, I'm gonna let a turn pass. Looks like he's taking care of them. Yeah, just gotta fight off that. The downside is I have. I have. I have minus telly right now, so I can't blink away. But I think I'll be okay. I think I can just haste. And I think I can he fight. the lich. There's another lich. Let's just fight this. I think we got it. Um, let's summon a... Let's use a box of beast, which summons a, a nice little ally for us. A mature shock shock weird beast yeah now he's slowed so this guy's he killed him in one hit he's very mature for his age <laughs> yeah okay so we're gonna we're gonna keep our distance okay good so we killed the ancient lich there's a killer clown he throws killer pies or or uh he, he throws clown pies which can do lots of stuff it's really nasty Stop clowning around. Yeah. Quit clowning around. Okay, there we go. So now we've, we've almost cleared this lung. Now we need to go through here. Take a step here. Take a step here. Another ancient lich. So I'm going to summon a malign gateway. Okay, good, good position. I'm going to turn to dragon form so that way he can't one hit kill us. I'm going to summon a lightning spire because he's not... Oops! Didn't mean to step forward. He is resistant to electricity, actually. 
So he can summon, he can, he's hasted so he can cast two spells at once, and we have plenty of haste potions, so we're just going to go ahead and join him. We're going to attack to try to kill him. Nice. Okay. So now he's still at a distance. We're going to use Corrosive Bolt on him, and we're going to hide behind our little tentacle. So that's Orb of Destruction there. Um... Did he cast that? Yeah, he cast it. So we're just going to fight him. Nice. Okay, we killed him. Now we're going to back away. Uh, there's an orb guardian. Malign gateway. Good position. Dragon form. So there's a bunch of them in here. So we're going to fight a couple of them now. That thing is just wiping those guys. Yeah, yeah. It's re it's really strong. This is the best. This is I think this is I think Blind Gateway is the best spell in the game. Like once you get, it's good on most characters, but Felids it's extra good on because it's plus four translocations, which is part one of its spell schools. So it's super super easy to cast. It's basically free. You know, like yeah, sometimes, but on any character that you have it. Like, you're, you're really happy about having it. Okay, let's summon a line gateway. Okay, I'm glad I did that. Uh, fire dragon. Uh, so let's see if this tentacle can just take on this orb on its own without... Okay, I'm going to use a summoning scroll so that way I don't get malmutated. Okay. So we're going to keep our distance, let our tentacle do its thing. So there's a bunch of them. Uh, let's summon a malign gateway. Back away. Kill it. Uh, let's actually just rest. Oh, whoops. Kind of backed into a corner here against it. It's fine. Um, so we're going to... Dragon form, malign gateway. They're all asleep. Yeah. Uh, let's go up here. Fight them. Let's back up. Re let it reset. Stay away from us. Up here, summon a malign gateway. Let them come towards us. Haha, <laughs> I killed it. But we can kill him. So now... We're wiping them. Is that the orb? Yep. So now we have the orb of Zot. So we're going to pick it up. And see, it uh, it wakes up everything on the floor. So now we're going to use haste. They're all mad now. And most characters can't outrun orbs of Zot, but cats can when they're hasted. So we're going to just go to the nearest up staircase which was very easy because we're fast and we're just going to set course for dungeon level one. Um, Go so, back to the beginning. That's yep. all you had to do is yep. get the orb. Yeah. So this thing is fine. We can outrun it. I think we we're pretty much, we're pretty much good. We can outrun almost anything at this point. Dungeon so where are you, level. where are you trying to take the orb? Uh, just to the entrance of the dungeon. So these things are really strong, uh, and they're also fast, I think. But we can just step up. Holy shit, he summons so many angels and... Okay. We're just going to move over here and go up. So generally speaking, you don't die on the orb run. It's, you, it's very rare... To die on the orb run. The orb run being after you've collected yeah. the orb and you're just trying to like run away. This is a unique earlier in the game that I was running away from and didn't even kill. Like I didn't even clear this floor because of it, so I'm just gonna kill him now. There we go. Eat it, Joseph. <laughs> Holy shit. It's a pandemonium lord with a distortion touch. Who just Where did has he like from? a ridiculous? He's from he's from the pan the 
the realm of pandemonium, and he's very fast. So we're just his name is Emmett. He yeah, has name is yeah, Emmett. Emmett Smith. We're gonna. I've been, I've been watching for like about five minutes. I still can't figure out what's going on. Too much reading. <laughs> I uh, yeah, the text is way too fast. I I don't really know what's going on other than he's about to win. Yeah. Long so this so that can't hurt us now. We're just gonna go up the staircase. Set course for dungeon level one. <clears throat> he just busted into the the, the evil layers. The realm of Zod. Swiped their most precious relic right from one of their noses. Yep. Uh, so we're just going to go to the exit. Holy shit. Brimstone Fiend. So this is a really strong enemy that we don't want to fight. Um, so we're going to go around him. We're going to do Are these things like new to this area because you're trying to get out now? Yeah, yeah. These are new to this area because I'm trying to get out. They like appear. So we don't want to fight that at all. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use fog to make some distance. We're also going to use haste because we can. So it just tormented us, which is kind of bad oh uh -oh. shit yeah see how strong that is how quickly yeah, it, it almost like, killed you yeah it almost killed me so we're gonna use heal wounds and we're gonna use heal wounds and heal wounds we can just use all of them because we're about to win um and then we're just gonna take one step at a time we go down and we're going to set course for here. That was the first enemy I encountered and I ran away from it in the beginning of the game. <laughs> Alright. So we made him. it. We made it. We won. You've escaped. You've escaped. Is that the, the whole point is to escape, but you can't do it until you have the orb of Zot? Zot? Yep. That's the idea. How'd you get down there in the first place just from diving from diving nice okay we made it we won nice so what was that what was that leaderboard uh that was like high scores that game took me 12 hours to beat <laughs> my normal my average is like six and a half hours feel this is a uh, single segment right uh, not all of I, I I did this in different. I did this in like breaks. Like you got you kind of got to take breaks for this game, or else your brain will rot. Oh, I think we're beyond that already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, my head hurts. My head hurts from from playing this game. So we did it. We uh, we made it. We escaped the realm of Zot with the orb of Zot, and we uh. We won. So the, there was a leaderboard, though. Mm hmm Where did that go? Uh, let me see. Where's the leaderboard? Um, I'm trying to remember how to get to it. It's somewhere. But um, I don't usually play for score. I play for, like, uh, streaks. For win streak, yeah. Yeah, for the win streak. So like, um, here, let me uh, let me quick, let me quick switch, uh, change window to like Discord. Um, did it change it? No, I still see your Oops. <clears throat> browser. Uh, let me try it again. Oh, we, uh... You might have to disconnect and then stream again. Uh, there we go. What? I, yeah. I see, like, Discord Inception. Yeah. So, now that I did that, you can see... Streak... 
um, and the and the the, uh, the bot here will show you will show us what we got. Oh, wow, there's a lot of messages. There's a jump to present button. Oh, there is. Okay. Oh, there was. So there was five consecutive wins. Uh, streak. I think this is the winner. This is the number one guy. He has 51 consecutive wins, and he can still keep going. Wow. What does what does and can keep going mean? It means it means uh, you haven't died yet. Oh, gotcha. You can win but still die. Well, you haven't. You haven't. Um. It means like if you if I died in the next game, then it would it wouldn't say and can keep going. But it still would say you have five consecutive. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, if you die in the game, you die in real life. You do. It's true. So yeah, that's the that's the game. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Nice. Nice job. Yep. Good stuff.